What is going on, everybody? DV, me and my TV hope everybody's having a bomb ass day. Now, whenever I do my track day stuff, a lot of people hit me up asking the same question. You know, where do you get that video game looking footage that you use in your track day videos? Well, that video actually comes courtesy of my performance data recorder that actually came with the 1LE. And a lot of people are curious, like, well, what's it used? What's it good for? And I'm about to get into tracking myself. Is it something that I should consider using? Well, let me just sit here and start this video off by saying this. If you are about to get into tracking, yes, hell yes, you need to be using this. Because everybody, the video that you guys see when I do my track day stuff is something called data logging. Now, data logging is something that every single professional or amateur racing team uses. Why? Because it can give you info about what's going on with the car, but more specifically, it can give you readings, it can give you readouts, as you guys see in my videos, of what your inputs are when you're giving them to the car. Now, for those people who are curious what's its use, what's it good for, and how will it affect them, allow me to put you guys in a situation that you will, not you may, not you might, not you probably, not you could, that you will ultimately be in. Now, let's say you're in your car on the track with your instructor in the passenger seat. You're going around a track and then you come to a corner. You go into that corner, through that corner, and out of that corner. And your instructor turns to you and says something like this. Well, you know what, DV? You started your tracking for that corner way too soon. It caused you to take an improper driving line, force you to miss the apex, slow down unnecessarily, and force you to start your track out sooner than it should have been. Now, chances are, most of you guys watching me probably don't know what the hell I just said. Well, what I basically said, in essence, was everything that I just did going through that corner was wrong. Now, here's where data logging comes in handy. Now, as you're continuing to go down the track at 60, 70, 80, 90 miles an hour, can you think back to the turn that you just came out? Visualize everything that you just did, when you did it, how you did it, so you can better understand why you did it, so you can either learn from it and improve it or learn from it and not do it again. Chances are nobody on the planet can do that. And that's what data logging does. Data logging gives you the ability to go back to that corner, look at what you did, see what you did, see the inputs that you were giving your car so you can either learn from it to improve it or learn from it and not do it again. See everybody, data logging is nothing more than a tool that you could use for your own benefit when you're on the track. It'll give you the opportunity to go back in time to understand what you did wrong so you can learn from it, see what you did right so you continue to make improvements. Because everybody, the whole point and purpose of a track day is the opportunity to give you guys a chance to become better drivers. Now I understand that there's a lot of people out there who have just started getting into tracking, and for those of you who are about to start getting into tracking, who do not have the PDR system nor that type of technology that I have in my 1L that you guys would like to have in your car. So what I'm gonna do at the end of this video is give you guys a few simple things that you could do on track to give you guys a little bit of technology, a little bit of data logging, so you can understand what you're doing on the track to either learn from what you're doing wrong or to go ahead and continue making improvements on the thing you're doing right. Now one of the best, most cheapest ways to get into data logging is by using a data logging app on your phone. Now it doesn't matter if you have Apple and it doesn't matter if you have Android, there are plenty of data logging apps out there. Some are free, some are by charge. Now, I use an app called Race Chrono. Now, the sad thing about this app is I was actually grandfathered into this app, so this app as I use is actually free. But Race Chrono, now you have to pay like $12.99 or like $17.99, and then you get everything this app offers. But there are a ton and tons of apps on the Apple Store or on the Google Android Store that you guys could use for free. Now, please keep in mind the difference between this type of data logging and the data logging that I have in my car. The data logging that you have on your phone is just raw data. What do I mean by that? The only thing these type of apps will be able to give you are like your speeds, are like your split times, meaning how long it takes you to get from one corner to the next corner. It'll give you your G-forces, it'll give you your lap times, and that is basically it. It will not be able to give you your throttle inputs, your steering inputs, your brake inputs, your G-forces, so on and so forth. The reason why it will not be able to give you that is because it's not plugged into your car. So all the stuff that you guys see on my track videos, the only thing you will be able to get out of that is, of course, the speed, the split times, and of course, the lap times. Now, there are certain types of apps if you guys want to spend two, three, four hundred dollars on that you could actually plug into your phone plug into your car and you will get basically the same stuff that I have from my PDR. But if you guys are just looking for a free and simple way of getting into data logging, using an app on your phone, whichever one works for your preference, will be the easiest and cheapest route that you guys can go. 
Now, of course, raw data logging is really quite useless unless you have some type of video overlay to go with it. Now, for those people out there who have Apple or who have Android, there are a plethora of apps in both of those stores that give you the opportunity to have both data logging and, of course, visual overlay. But those type of apps, you will have to pay, and in my humble opinion, are not worth the money. Why? Because they're only going to be able to give you two specific angles that, in my humble opinion, are not really conducive for you guys to be able to learn. Because if you use a video visual overlay, you're going to have to put your phone on a suction cup and either place it on the middle of the windshield where I have my dash cam or in the middle of the rear window facing out. And in my humble opinion, those are two angles that are not going to give you the guys, give you guys the best learning perspective to understand what you did, when you did it, how you did it, so you can learn from why you did it in order to make yourself better or to go ahead and learn from it. So what I do, for those people out there who watch my track day videos, I always have some form of helmet cam in my videos because in my humble opinion, that is without a doubt the best possible viewing angle you can have to learning from being on a track. So what I do is I have my data logging app and I have my PDR, but the helmet cam I use is this little Ion Speed Pro. And I'll go ahead and put all this information in the description section. Now, when I bought this about a year and a half ago, this thing ran me about 50 bucks and what I do when I'm on the track is let me go ahead and put on my helmet put on my helmet get a little piece of double-sided sticky tape and stick it right here on the right side of my helmet right where my visual line would go why because this is the best angle that can give me when I'm on the track so I can understand when I did it how I did it, where I did it, so I can understand why I did it and learn from it and to get better. So for everybody out there who's interested in getting into daddy, data logging who don't have these type of features, but who still want to get into it, if you have a cell phone, go ahead and download a free app from your uh, Apple Store or Google Play Store. Buy you this little Ion Speed Pro. It's maybe, I don't know, like $40, $50, not depending on if you want to get it used. Get you some double-sided sticky tape, and now you basically have what I have in my car just without a few options that I have on my PC. EDR. But if there's anybody out there who has any questions, comments, concern, or who just want a little bit of more information, as always, leave them down in the comment section. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I hope everybody's having a bomb ass day. Everybody, I need a track day. I'm going through withdrawals, but I'll check you guys later on the next upload.